Good afternoon, guys. We are at the airport right now. I booked a surprise flight for us and Kim doesn't have a clue where we're going. He doesn't know what we're going to do. So I'm a bit nervous. I think she is as well. And uh, <laughs> let's see how this goes. You ready? I think so. Yeah? All right. So right now we are in Bratislava. A few days ago we flew here from Brussels just for five dollars. We're supposed to fly home today, but I decided to book a surprise trip for Kim. She knows we're flying somewhere that's not home, but she doesn't know where. She doesn't have any clue yet. And we're flying to, well, I'm not gonna tell you yet. Uh, you can find out with Kim, but we have a connecting flight, which is not listed on the ticket because I booked two separate tickets. So there's going to be one destination first, which you will think is the final destination, but it's not. We're actually going somewhere else. The best time of the year is here again, people. A lot of people may think that it's Christmas, but it's actually fall, because that is when Starbucks has their famous pumpkin spice latte. It's like a warm hug. So are you excited? <laughs> are you nervous? <laughs> How are we feeling? <laughs> Slightly nervous actually because I mean normally when you go to the airport you know where you're going. I literally have no idea. And Naik is making me think that it's Milan. Yesterday you told me that well then when we get to Milan, oh yeah, and I was I like pretended like I misspoke just to throw off a bit. Ah uh -huh, so you're or, admitting. or maybe I'm just pretending now I'm actually going to Milan. The thing is, I just like knowing if I brought the right clothes because it's impossible to plan for something like this. I'm a little bit of a control freak when it comes to where we travel. Um, I mean, not a control freak, control freak, but I like knowing I'm having trouble controlling your thoughts on me right now. That doesn't bother me one bit. We're now on our way to the airport, going to have to take a bus there uh, because the airport's a bit outside of the city. Just trying to figure out where the bus station is. Whoa, what, what the hell's going on? There's a big station here, but there's no buses, so I don't think it's over there. But I don't know, it's a bit confusing. Oh, this is where our bus stops. It's to Vienna. Yeah. That's not where we're going, we're going to the airport. Yeah, it says Vienna Airport. So it's a airport. flight you cannot take from the Bratislava airport. No, indeed. <gasps> Ooh, this is an exciting, exciting... Vienna airport has loads of destination options. How fancy is this bus? There's all the departures. There's about a hundred of them in the next uh, two to three hours. I'm not looking. Why not? Because I might see it. I'm smart. <laughs> but I mean, there's like... I can do the math. In the next two hours, there's about 30 flights leaving. Which one uh, would you like, if you could choose? Mm, Palma de Mallorca, or Barcelona, or Greece, or... Those are the main ones, the ones that have warm weather. This is where I think we're going. What a stickly! <laughs> See if I'm right later. Just gonna put these noise cancellation headphones on Kimmer's ears so she doesn't hear where we're going. Because I think I'll have to say our destination when we go through security and stuff like that. Can you hear me now? Hello? Okay, we made it to the gate. We are, the boarding gate is open, so I think it is time for the reveal party. Are you ready? I think so. Yeah? All right. So right now, Kim sounds like a happy Pedera town because she thinks we're going to the sunny island of Mallorca off the coast of Spain. But keep in mind, this is not our final destination, which she doesn't know yet. So before she finds out where we're actually going, let's see where she thought I was taking her. <laughs> oh, what, oh. what did you write on your hand? Oh, I wrote, wait, 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 wait. It's all a sweating, you can't really read it. It's like it says Bratislava, but actually it's Barcelona. Oh, you thought we were going to Barcelona? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Are you happy about it? You're very happy. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is better than Barcelona because the weather is going to be nicer. I don't know. 
I'm boarding the plane right now. She doesn't suspect a thing. <laughs> Are you ready for the in-flight entertainment? Made myself useful at the tax-free shop. Da, 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 da. I think there's just enough for two. I think it's red, but I'm actually not sure. It's not as bad as I expected. <laughs> it's a little bit warm. It's like a glue eye. All right, so we made it to Mallorca, but this is actually not our final destination. We have another flight to take. Really? Really? You're kidding! Yeah. I was so excited about Mallorca. <laughs> Where are we going? Let's find out. I was gates. so excited. I was looking forward to a swim. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Sorry. <laughs> Maybe I stressed too much how excited I was about Mallorca. <laughs> I, I, I was like, I might have oh, dissed a few of the other destinations. She was like, Oh, I'm so happy to go to Mallorca. It's the best destination. Like, um. Now I'm a little bit nervous, very excited because it's actually like a bit of an adrenaline rush. Maybe we're just flying in loops. Oh yeah. <laughs> Surprise! We are going to Vienna. Oh my god. Surprise! Back in Vienna. <laughs> this isn't funny, you know. This is our flight to uh, Vienna. C63. It's time for the reveal. Mm -hmm. I will already show the people where we're going. Turn <laughs> right. Really, we're going to Barcelona? <laughs> but how in the world is that possible? That is what I thought. So I did know I was not wrong. Was, how in the world is that possible? There was a flight to Barcelona at the airport. Yeah, but I think it was fully booked or like the price was like $500 <laughs> for a flight. So I had to go the cheap route. <laughs> I'm actually really happy with that as well. <laughs> that is what I thought. I mean, <laughs> you were right. Let's remember, this is what we should remember from this video so far, is that I'm always right. Good morning guys, well this isn't too bad for a hostel dorm balcony is it? I mean look at this incredible view, what a beautiful day, I'm so looking forward to this. Ooh, the waiters here in Spain are cute. Oh yeah, they look really handsome, I, uh, I've heard. We got ourselves a very typical oh, Spanish yeah. breakfast. Look at this little coffee. Cappuccino. I slept like a baby at that dorm though. You woke up crying every two hours? <laughs> a nice croissant. No, I just slept a really... A bocadillo well. con jamón. Un bocadillo is a sandwich. It's a Spanish for sandwich. I slept really, really well. And I've been sleeping really, really well actually ever since we left Belgium and ever oh, since yeah. we stopped sleeping in our van. I think it's a sign that we need to get away from our van. Yeah. And before we start exploring Barcelona, should we tell them our plans? Later. Later? Okay, later. later. That was not so smart, was it? We're just walking around here on our way to our first stop. Look what we came across. It's How this. cool is this building? It's such a unique uh, place. It's Very actually cool designed by the famous architect Gaudi. Yeah. Probably not pronouncing that right. Gaudi, yeah, that's his Gaudi. name. Gaudi. Um, He's a very famous architect in Barcelona. He has a very typical style. It's almost a little bit like a fantasy building. I think it's straight out of Lord of the Rings or something. Yeah. And you can tell it's famous because, well... I sort of feel bad though for the building next to it because that's also pretty, but there's it's no one... It's actually a really beautiful building. <laughs> but there's no one taking any pictures of that <laughs> one or even looking at it. <laughs> 35 minute walk to where we're going or we just could take the metro which is 12 minutes but we decided to walk a little it's bit such of a beautiful uh, city exercise
this is the Sagrada Familia. So if you think the previous building was pretty cool and unique, just check this out. This is probably the most unique church I've ever seen in my life. They started building in 1882 and it was finished. Well, it's actually not finished yet. So for more than 100 years, 130 years, they've been building it. And it's said to be almost finished, just about three, four years more. Once it is finished, because it took them so long, it would have taken them longer to build this than it took the Egyptians to build the pyramids. Ah, it's incredible just to stand here. Can you imagine that 4,500 years ago, they put these little rocks on top of each other? Little rocks, you say? This is the base layer. How can you, I mean, even if you have like workers and horses, horses can't fly. They even have flying containers here. <laughs> Please don't drop it. We're at, we're at five more years. We're gonna see if we can go inside the Sagrada Familia because I actually have no idea what it looks like on the inside. Apparently it is 26 euros per person to enter, which is actually quite a lot. So I don't That's think we're gonna do it. For two of us. I'm not gonna pay that for a building that isn't even finished yet. <laughs> no. Maybe next time. We'll come back when it's finished. And then this is La Rambla, a 1.2 kilometer pedestrianized zone in the heart of the old town of Barcelona. It is lined with trees on both sides and is especially known for being super busy pretty much any day of the week any time of the day you come here you'll find loads and loads of people here there's a lot of these little shops off the side here but that is not what we are here for we are here porque tenemos hambre y ahora señoras señores vamos a comer tapas gracias gracias look how happy all these people are. This is a really good tapas bar. It's actually the cheapest tapas bar in all of Barcelona. This is a glass of sparkling wine. Careful not to and spill. And you're not going to believe the price. This is 85 cents less than a dollar Look for a glass of sparkling wine. Look how this glass is. Mm, like, oh. It's good even too. It's even good. It's muy rico. Hey, yes. <laughs> thank you. For um, the price of the entrance, I'm just saying out of for me, 26 euros, you can get about 30-ish of these kawas. I think, I think we, we made a good decision. I think we made the right choice. Ma'am. We just ordered some tapas, little plates of food you can order. So you can order like 10, 15, even more if you want, different kind of things. We have three different small plates here. These are just one euro each. I think the three kawas and this full table of food cost us less than 20 dollars. Three kawas each. It's hard to put to words how I feel during this trip in Barcelona or during our time in Matislava, but mm. like in a way, I know it's gonna sound so cheesy, but I feel so super free at this moment. Yeah. Like to Bratislava, we just found a five dollar flight and we were like, jump on. We booked it right away, we went on that flight and then they was like, how about I surprise you with another flight to some new place and then we came here. Because we've been living in a van now for a good 10 months and I think we're starting to realize now that it's time to switch things up a little bit. And that is exactly why. We're not going to be spending the winter in Europe because now it's fall time. The weather is getting pretty bad. We are choosing to go on a little adventure for the first time in over a year to travel outside of Europe again. We actually just booked a flight last week that is going to take us to Mexico. We're going back to Mexico. And Mexico is still our favorite country we've ever been to. Stop throwing your tapas around. <laughs> a lot of times when we're just uh, discussing travel, we sometimes ask each other. Oh, uh, yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. 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 Yeah, in a week in the face. Oh, oh thank you. Awesome. Thank you. <laughs> we're going to be on this wall. Anyway, okay. Mexico is still one of our favorite countries in the world. And we're going to go back there soon. We have a bunch of really cool ideas for what to do there, so we think you're really going to enjoy really that trip. To, to Mexico. To Barcelona. <laughs> It's such a big contrast with uh, yesterday when it was rainy, windy and actually pretty cold, even when wearing my sweater. Now we're here, it's like 18, 20 degrees. Oh, it feels like summer. T-shirt weather, skies are really, really blue actually. 
So this is a park <coughs> grill. One of the main sights to see here in Barcelona. Two guesses who designed this park. Again, Gaudi. But the architecture here is like super, super colorful. And yeah. it's almost fantasy-like a little bit. Like you're yeah. in a proper theme it's park really or something. It's eclectic with all these mosaics, lots of color. And the sea in the background, the Mediterranean Sea. How are you liking your surprise? Mm. It's time for a night out in the town. What do you think? I think it's time for a night of work. We need to do some editing and work. Anyway, we're gonna I'm, I'm end going, this going, video bye. here. Hasta luego, muchachos. Bye. <laughs>